If you're interested in the actual statistics and performance, then you can watch this. If not, skip forward. Return trip to Scarborough. I left with a 1,547 miles and I had a predicted range of 100 miles. After I'd travelled 83 miles, I recharged at a point where I had 30 miles range. So the predicted range was 113 miles, 69% of battery used, so the actual range was equivalent to 120 miles. The charger I used at Scarborough was the new Instavolt 120 kilowatt CCS charger. We started with 31% at 1440 and as you can see from the figures here it, it added 57% in 29 minutes. So we reached 99% in 47 minutes which is an addition of 68% or the equivalent of 79.81 miles giving us a predicted range of 106 miles. So in summary, we home charged equivalent of 120 miles at 16 p per kilowatt and we used 51 miles of Instavolt charge at 45 pence per kilowatt. So for the 171 miles our total cost was £10.74 or 6.28 pence per mile. When compared to my Mini Cooper supercharged petrol engine that would have required 5.7 gallons at 30 miles per gallon the total cost saving of the trip would be 29 pounds 16 pence or 73 percent cheaper please bear in mind that i'm not an ev journalist neither am i a mathematician these are the figures that i worked out for my own benefit but you might find them helpful welcome to warner's wheeling about just me messing around in my wheelchair and my cars. Well, I finally got my mini app working and um, so was able to precondition the car for the first time from, from inside the house. We did a three pin charge overnight last night and it was 100% charged when I woke up at six o'clock this morning. I left the car, car plugged in it's now 12 o'clock and I just turned on the pre-charge function before before we left the house and uh, when I've come outside yeah, the car's nice and warm and I imagine the battery is now pre-conditioned. So we're gonna head off to Scarborough today and um, apparently there's a couple of new charges being installed at McDonald's there. So we're looking forward to a day out in Scarborough and check out these new charges. range and we've traveled 20 miles and we've still got a range of 91 miles um, that may be because we preconditioned the battery today so let's see how we go but I wouldn't say it's in Scarborough in fact it's quite a way outside Scarborough but uh, nevertheless here are the charges so looks pretty good parking for the 
Chada is a little bit awkward because it's right in front of the entrance to the drive through. So not exactly well thought out. It took me two or three attempts to get into the space. Unfortunately, I can't use this charger because apart from this being very heavy, as you can see, there's pretty much no room. And once again, the, the screen and the controls are all quite high. Um, particularly unnecessary is all this curb work preventing the wheelchair getting close. It was quite a long wait for the machine to calculate and connect so I've edited this down. Yet another different machine different from the other Instabolts we've used and no mention of charge point on this one. Okay, so we've plugged into the Instavolt and um, it shouldn't take too long. So we're having a Big Mac and a coffee and a toilet break. And then when we're finished, we'll head down to the beach. As you can see, you're tucked right in front of the entrance to the drive through there. And when you've finished, you've got to turn right into incoming traffic. We just took our break, had our lunch and a drink and used the bathroom. And the timing was perfect. 47 minutes when we came out, it was up to 99%. This is a new 120 kilowatt charger, but I believe the Mini only charges at 50 kilowatts.
my video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, give me a thumbs up and subscribe and share. And if you've got any comments, leave them below. See you in the next one. Bye.